Okay, so I know the lighting sucks right now. It sucks bad. It sucks really bad, actually. And excuse the wild hair. It's one of those days. But I really am going to show you, like, basically, I mean, in my, in essence, I'm a beginner actress. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still progressing. I'm still growing emotionally, physically, and everything. I am working and it's hard especially with quarantine and stuff so i would just talk, want to talk to y'all about you know basically i'm going to show you me auditioning for a role you wouldn't believe what happened it was for a commercial called um simply learn.com which i um kind of miss the actual date i made a mistake because if you like i always tell y'all you know in this industry if you aren't you know consistently getting especially right now doing quarantine you know your books you have to have some kind of resource to pay your bills and take care of yourself and feed yourself you know so i work at a club on the weekends and it was due the morning and I thought it was 10 p.m. and not 10 a.m. So I kind of missed the actual um, casting date. But um, like I always say, it's a learning experience. And just because certain things like that happen does not mean that, you know, something else great is not going to happen. I'm really trying and really am being productive when it comes to wanting to get to know myself as an actress and a model and a personality. Um, yeah, some of the other things I do love more than others. Um, I do love modeling, I love acting, I love being, you know, a personality. I mean, I love talking to people. It doesn't bother me at all. I love to do entertainment news, I'm a man on the street. All that stuff is fascinating and fun and great for me personally, um, it gives me this sense of purpose, to be honest with you. Um, that's weird. I just not realized that. But yeah, it gives me this sense of purpose. Um, I feel like one of my gifts to give back is I want to make other people feel good and I want to entertain people. And I feel like that is my gift and that's what I love to do. So that's what I want to do. I really like making people happy and i choose to use modeling and acting and being a personality to display that so i'm about to show you a self tape and my bloopers and when i finally thought i got it right being real with you i was rushing because <laughs> the even funnier thing about the situation is i was trying to do it before it was due by 10 p.m so i literally started recording it at like nine yeah nine o'clock yeah i started like recording at like nine o'clock and if people and well and like i've said in my previous videos i am epileptic and i sometimes am exhausted and might have a seizure in my sleep or just be exhausted in general because one that seizure medicine it does work but it definitely, um, one of the side effects, I had to Google it because I was trying to figure this out. It makes you tired. So, I have to really force myself to really get on the beam, which sometimes that put me in this depression mode because I'm like, you know what? Like, okay, it's a lot of challenges. And yes, I'm gonna have to really work harder because of these challenges and yes i do sometimes get pissed off and get tired of being tired and having to do all the things that i have to do but it's life hey anything worth having you have to fight for and that's something big that i've been learning too you know anything worth having you have to fight for it. it's not going to come easy to you and especially if it's really worth it and it's what you really want and want to do for the rest of your life yeah you're gonna have to fight for it so, yeah, definitely was feeling a little off um, that whole day. 
I was like, well, good that the audition is not due until 10 p.m. Because I was like, well, if it's not due until 10 p.m., that means I have time to get myself together, get in that mode, but I'm not even gonna lie. Even after I took that time to take a nap to get myself together, I still had to make myself get up. Like I literally had to make myself get up, make myself get up. Like I literally said to myself, Lauren, get up, what are you doing? Like, get up, you have things to do. Needless to say, I had to go to work that night too and work um, a club event. Um, I feel very blessed and highly favored when it comes to certain situations and circumstances because I could have had a seizure. I could have just been out of it and I could have been wiped out. But I really was just, just really, really tired and um, feeling overworked and feeling kind of down about certain things. Like I said, quarantine, it really put some pressure on me. Um, it did. The pressure of feeling like you're not doing anything. And I have to remind myself all the time, we are in quarantine. What are you saying, honey? You know, you're recording your YouTube channel, you're posting on your Instagram, you are doing little gigs here and there when you get calls, what is a freaking blessing. So you can't be tripping off that. I mean, like I can't, I really can't trip off that. But when you're like me, you really just in your mind, you just always expect certain things out of you. And like I always try to remind people, there's no time limit to when you're going to be this person or successful or, or get to the goal where you want to meet. It takes time, it takes practice, it takes strategic thinking, planning, and practice. Practice, 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 practice. practice. And I tell you, it takes practice, it takes practice. I have taken two classes since I've been in quarantine online. I will admit this, online classes are cool and it's nice, you know, to be on Zoom and all this good stuff, but I really personally like being in the classroom. I think it's so more effective it for me. I don't know about anybody else, but I think it's more effective for me. Um, I personally really like the acting school I go to, I really do. Um, two of the ones that I've been to that I really like, um, I like, uh, what, I like going to Drama Inc. Drama Inc. is very good. I love it, uh, especially when your acting coach is a working actress. So, and you know, and all this kind of stuff is really great because they're really they're really more knowledgeable when they're acting work. You know, wait, I mean, actors or actresses that are actually physically in the workforce working currently, they can tell you the nutrients. They can tell you. Um, what is expected of you, what is not expected of you, because they are working, so they know what's new, they know what's hot, they know what it, you know, I mean, what people don't understand, acting is entertainment, so everything has a trend and changes and improvements, so expect those things, so, um, you always should, always, always, always should be ready to be, to evolve, you know, um, one consequence, well, one thing I'm going through right now, too, also, is like, what is my look? Everybody has a look, okay? Everybody has a look. The point of acting and being a personality and all this kind of stuff is to be believable and relatable. Because you're basically acting out humanistic qualities and behaviors and things that go on in the world or I mean, if you're in a futuristic movie, you still gotta be believable that this is 2055 and acts like you're in 2055. So, I'm trying to debate whether my look is curly hair, straight hair, what? But, like they say, make sure you have headshots of both. So, currently I'm working with that. Um, I have my curly hair, uh, my hair curly, um, you know, headshots, acting headshots, and I also am, I have my straight hair acting headshots, but I'm definitely gonna do some new straight hair headshots. I really feel like I wanna do some more. Because I, I mean, I like the one I got, but I think I wanna do something else. I wanna do another one. Um, Cause it had it more up to date. To be honest with you, realistically, I look the same, but um, 
I just still want some new straight hair uh, hair shots. Definitely working on that. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show y'all my imperfections and show you what I go through and, you know, and be relatable to you. So you'll know that, you know, don't stop, keep going, don't quit. Um, you know, hopefully you can find people that you can talk to and relate to. Um, a friend of mine said that today to me, like Lauren, you know, you need to hang out with more people that are like-minded like you when it comes to acting and all this kind of stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm such a, a loner. Okay, I know that sounds weird, right? How can you be okay with being by yourself but love to entertain people? I don't know. Don't ask me these questions because I don't understand it myself, okay? So, and that's probably because I, I really, I need to start hanging out with people that are more like-minded when it comes to being an actor and actress and things like this and you know, the emotions and the quarantine and the up down roller coasters and auditioning and having something to do right then and right there and all this extra stuff that's going on. Yes, I need some people that understand these things. But here we go. Don't want to talk you to death, but enjoy. You know, put your comments down there and let me know how you feel about me and how you think I did for this audition. Hey, give me some advice. You know, an acting agency or anything that you feel like or a man, something, anything that you think is going to help me and benefit me, I will accept it. You can tell me that I suck. Hey, tell me why I suck. And then I will go back and freak and try my best to be more and better and increase in my skills. So, enjoy. Peace. I use simplylearn.com. They have an online course in iCloud computing, digital marketing, project management, everything you need to succeed in the digital economy. <laughs> the Game over. Lauren Hendricks, Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm willing to have the COVID test before I actually start filming. <laughs> I use simplylearn.com. They have online courses in iCloud computing, digital marketing, project management, everything you need to succeed in the digital economy. With the virtual labs, the real mentors, the certifications and their courses make you job ready for some of the most in-demand roles globally. Do we need to shut this thing off?